Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Jocelyn Conley, pelvic floor physical therapist and founder of the Vagina Doc. And in this video, I'm gonna go over the adductor isometric. The adductor isometric can be used for a variety of different reasons. It can be used to train some type of muscle performance, whether that's connection, uh, anterior or front side, um, lower pelvic hip stability with the deep core and outer core, or uh, train the proximal fibers of the adductors after a big change in the body like pregnancy or delivery can also be used as a way to reset or realign the pelvis if you've been in a prolonged position like sitting or uh, on your stomach something or standing that would put a lot of stretch to the front side of the pelvis especially when you're pregnant what you'll need is a setup so that your head and neck are supported if you have uh, if you need that or you don't need it if you don't need it you don't need it and then a ball, a small play ball, not like the size of a basketball, but something like not a, the size of a tennis ball either. Um, you could also use a come with me and use a yoga block. You could use a foam roller. The aim is to feel this exercise in your groin muscles, so your inner thigh muscles. You also will feel this a little bit more or less in your lower abdomen, depending on the variation of the connection that you go with. Where I don't want you to feel this is just in your pubic bones. If you're just feeling in your pubic bones or your symptoms, then we need to problem solve through that. And you're gonna lie down on your back and place the yoga block vertically like this between your legs. If you, you can do it the other way, that would be a progression. A regression would be holding it like this and placing it between your legs. So the smaller the object, the easier it is. So I'm gonna go with this option. And your spine is in neutral. And what you're gonna do is gently squeeze about 25% equally from each side, squeeze into the block and hold for five seconds. And then you're gonna ease off of the squeeze gradually. Then pay attention to how that felt. Then do it again and make sure your glutes aren't squeezing. Make sure you're not holding your breath and make sure when you contract, you ease in, hold it, maintain consistency as you're holding it and then ease out. Now try connecting with the pelvic floor first, just gently up to 25, 50% effort, then squeeze while holding that pelvic floor contraction, holding for five seconds and then easing out of it. The last variation, and I will specify this with you if you are there in your work with me, is it would be connect with pelvic floor, connect with belly button just a little bit, and then squeeze. And it would be the same thing, ease in, ease out. You could also do it where you're not connecting with pelvic floor, it's belly button and squeeze, and see how that goes. Why for all the variations? Well, everyone is different, and everyone, in, in terms of their deep core, may need something a little bit different. So if your pelvic floor is, is the timing's well, how you're connecting is, is, is optimal, then it may already be coming in and you don't need to necessarily add more. Where you need to be intentional is here. All of these muscles work together. It's just setting an intention and, and executing that intention versus reverting to the default. What I typically have people do is anywhere from one to two rounds of 10 to 20 reps, holding, from five, holding anywhere from five seconds to 10 seconds. If you have any questions, please comment below or send me a message. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video.